Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to show you the polyline function together with some uh, commands from the keyboard. Here we have a sketch that seems to be a little bit tricky because it consists of a uh, radii. It contains only one horizontal line. So let's see how we can solve this. So let's use this polyline function and uh, we have some very interesting commands to make this sketch that seems to be a little bit tricky to make it easy. So let's start with the horizontal line here. And now we press three times M on the keyboard to have a tangential circle as next. So once again, three times M to have a circle here. Once again, three times M to have the next circle. Again, three times M. Once again, three times M. Again, three times M. So let's see. Yeah, okay. And we stop here. So the inner circles we can bring in at last. And now let's do the dimensioning. So let's start with this uh, radius 52. Okay, the next one is 62. That's this one here. The 62 millimeter is, let's see, coincident with the x-axis. And it is 10 millimeter to the y-axis. Okay. The 52 millimeter should be coincident with the center. Okay, so that looks good. Now let's continue with a 58 millimeter radius. Let's see what happens. Okay. And the 58 is 44 millimeters from the center regarding the Y axis. And it is coincident with the x-axis. That doesn't work. Well, let's see what happens here. Nope. <laughs> so we have to find out another strategy later on. Let's see what we have here with this radius. This should be, let's see, 192 millimeters. Okay, that looks good. And now let's see if we can do this one here, coincident to the x-axis. So the lower area is already defined. Let's move on with the upper area. So let's see, this one is 10 millimeters. We have a radius here of 82 millimeters, which ends in the center. Then we use a coincident function here. Okay, that looks good. This one is also all right. We have a 12 millimeter here radius. And the 12 millimeter radius is 20 millimeters to the y axis. Okay. We have a 170 millimeter radius here, but let's define this 70 millimeter at first. Excuse me, this, let's define this 25 millimeter radius here before. So this one is 25, yes. And it is 70 millimeter above the x axis. So what's left? This one is 170. So 
so that looks good we have everything defined outside now we bring in the center circle here there's 36 millimeters and we bring in the 8 millimeter circle and this one has a distance to the x-axis of let's see 35 millimeters okay and that's it so everything is defined now and uh, using this function m in the polyline menu you have the opportunity to toggle between several functions using the m button on the keyboard try it out and press it one time two times and three times and so on and you will see what happens thanks for watching and we will meet in the next video